Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Learn English. This video is the second part of the previous video. Today I am going to tell you how to form questions correctly in English using the words WH and how. Let's begin. Isn't it exciting to reconnect with your old friend? It is. Suppose you haven't met your best friend for the past 10 years and one day you get to meet him or her. What would you say? What would you ask? You might ask, Oh hey, how have you been? What have you been doing these days? These questions are called open-ended questions because the number of responses is limitless. If you want to have real conversation with people and you want to improve your English, you must master these questions. Also, these questions are common in job interviews. For example, how was your childhood like? Or, why do you want to enter this profession? These questions do not expect a particular answer. Now I want you to have a look at these words. These underlined words, do they have something in common? Yes, all these words begin with a WH family word or how. Now you might be wondering what is this family? WH family includes questions that begin with WH. For example, WHAT, what, why, where, when, which and whose. Now I will discuss all these questions one by one. First word is what. What is used when you want to know about something. For example, you met a stranger and you might ask, what is your name? What are you doing? Right? Now let's come to another word, who. Who is used when you want to know about people. For example, someone told you an interesting story that brought tears to your eyes. So you might ask, who told you that story? Another example, who is that man? Third word is why. Why is used when you want to know about a reason. For example, you might ask your ex-colleague, why did you leave that job? Or someone unexpectedly came to your house and you might ask, why did you come here? When is used to ask about time. For example, you might ask your mother, when will we go to market? Or you are sitting in an examination hall and you might ask your invigilator, sir, when will the exam start? Another word is where. Where is used to ask about places. For example, you have lost your watch and you might ask your brother, where is my watch? Or you might ask your new neighbor, where do you work? Another word is which, which is used for choices. For example, which newspaper do you prefer, the Hindu or the Times of India? Which one is better, this one or that one? Another word is whose. Whose is used to find out which person something belongs to. For example, whose notebook was stolen in the class? or whose keys were lying on the table. Alright, so these were the words with WH family. Now we are moving to another word, how. How is used when you want to know about manner or process of something. For example, how are you? Typically answered as, I'm fine. Or how are you doing? How can be used in various ways. For example, how many means what number. How often means how many times. How long means what duration. How far means to what extent or how far the distance is. In the last video, we talked about the intonation of closed questions. And you remember, the intonation was rising at the end of the sentence. Now observe the intonation rise and fall of the pitch in these sentences. What is your name? How are you? How are you doing? What are you doing? In all these questions, the intonation is falling at the end of the sentence. Did you observe? Now I have few questions for you. For example, dash are your keys. You have to fill the word with the correct question word. It can be a WH family word or it can be how. In this question, we are looking for our keys. So we want to know the place where the keys are kept. So which word will you use? Where? Right. Now keep practicing these questions. If you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Thank you. Have a great day.